uh, as an educator, I'd say, and being in, the, in a situation where you got students coming in all the time, we're talking. Um, it's not just gender specific with talking in terms of boys. I think we need to be very specific. We send these, and it was earlier, um, did a great presentation on body image and these mm -hmm. messages. We send this strong message of masculinity to our boys at an early age, and our girls are getting a different message about body image, and, mm -hmm. and now with social media bombarding them. Remember that um, somebody made the comment earlier that our kids are just learning some of these, they're feeling some of these emotions for the first time. It was Charlie was mentioning mm -hmm. this in his talk, was saying, I might, I might not have even experienced this before, but when we're talking about a developing athlete, and especially in my experience, boys have a difficult time of verbalizing their feelings. And not only that, to begin with, we're, we are sending them a message that um, it's, you're not supposed to have that emotion. It's not okay. Don't, you know, the, the whole boys don't cry kind of message. And we got to be careful about when it comes to our mental health, about the, in, the, the messages that we're sending and, and awareness of those messages, whether that's through social media or what we're doing. Again, role modeling. That's why uh, role models, men and women that can, as in that coaching realm, that can create that environment where you say, it's okay for, to talk about these feelings. It's okay to have those feelings, to validate them.